Hey everyone, since it's around the holidays, I decided I'd post this little holiday build that I got going on up in the Toxic Valley, aka the North Pole. Just kidding, seriously though, you'll see why. Now, and another reason why I wanted to showcase this build is specifically because of the new snow machine that just recently came into Fallout 76 in the Atomic Shop, as you can see here. It generates snow and in the preview you can see where they have this at they have it at the toxic valley because up in the toxic valley is the closest thing that we're going to be getting to snow at the moment in the game now i know this isn't necessarily snow on the ground but it does resemble it so for those of you that did want to make a winter style camp up in the toxic valley is a great location especially to be using these snow machines at to make it seem like the snow is actually sticking on the ground i mean check out here for another example it looks like snow is kind of on the mountainside there and it's melted at the top i don't know i just think this is a good area to be using the snow machines at if you did spin the atoms on it because I did see quite a bit of people disappointed that the snow doesn't stick. And, you know, I was one of them, to be real with you. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this build. Hope you all find this enjoyable, and it gives you some inspiration as well. Oh, and by the way, happy holidays, everybody, who do celebrate it. I guess to start this off, let's go ahead and just go over how the snowfall looks landing on the Toxic Valley environment. As you can see, it does look as if there's snow on the ground. Around in this environment, you have plenty of locations that looks as if the place is covered in snow. At least it looks more covered in snow than you using the snow machines in the mire or the cranberry ball or the forest region. This is the best place I'd say to be using the snow machines at. I'm also going to be checking if we can use the snow machines in the shelter in this video as well because I've seen that with some of your guys' questions and I didn't test that previously so I'll be finding out in this video. But yeah, before going on inside, as you can see, I got a few Christmas decorations going on. This is from, I believe, the first Christmas Atomic Shop bundle that came out in the game. In case you're wondering, where did this rad stag come from? Yeah, as you can see, this is a stuffed rad stag. We got a Vault Boy Santa statue there. And this is from the Bucking Brahmin bundle deal. That's actually currently still in the Atomic Shop. Actually, that bundle deal included, you know, the snow machine, which is what I'm covering in this build, the Wasteland Snowman, the Elf Long Gnome, the Vault Boy Snow Globe Lamp, and a uh, Brahmin Ride too. But I'm not going to be showing that in this video. If you want to see that, I'll have a link in the description below where I reviewed the whole bundle. Um, but in this uh, build, I will be showing, however, this, 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 and this. So, yeah, pretty much the whole bundle you'll be seeing within this video. But yeah, in case you haven't seen this Wasteland Snowman, it's made out of concrete. And when you go to interact with it, the broom sets on fire. And I got this little Christmas tree next to it. I don't really know why I'm in no HUD right now. I guess to give you guys the full effect of the winter feel here at the camp. Oh, and by the way, this is something really neat about the architecture. As you can see, there's an actual chimney at the top which uh, Mystic Storm 9431 created this for me. I had no idea how to make this, but yeah. As you can see, here is how you make it if you are wanting to create something like this for yourself. It's actually really simple once you know how. As you can see, you're just gonna need a bottom platform. It could be an upper floor or a roof, it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna place something that'll help give the chimney more leverage. As you can see here, for an example, Mystic used a table. And then we placed the fireplace on top of the table, which this is the chimney. Once you got this place, you just simply plop down the roof, and voila, you got you a place that looks like it has an active fireplace inside. Oh, and by the way, you can get that fireplace from the Atomic Shop. Eventually, I'm sure Bethesda will bring this around again in the shop. And then, of course, it's all up to you if you want to purchase or not. Really good for winter-style camps like this, or personally, any camps, really, around the wasteland. Anyways... Let's go ahead and enter on inside. Oh, and by the way, real quick, in case you're wondering about these lights, these also came from the first Christmas Atomic Shop bundle. I'm not exactly sure if they'll be coming back around in the Atomic Shop or not. But yeah, inside this place here, I just got like a cozy little cabin feel going on. Nothing too spectacular. The main reason why I even wanted to make this video is just show a good location to use the snow machines. And just to spread a little bit of spirit for the holidays, for those of you that do celebrate it. But yeah, I got a restroom going on in here with a bunch of different, you know, decorations that seem like they belong in a bathroom. Sink and whatnot to clean up afterwards. I don't have the clean toilet unlocked quite yet, which, by the way, in case you don't know, uh, the clean toilet is part of the new scoreboard. Um, you can unlock it this far in. A little past the doctor outlay. 
when you got the doctor outline unlocked you almost had the clean toilet unlocked as you can see it's part of the scribe of avalon scoreboard i wonder when they're going to come out with a clean bathtub i'm assuming probably in the next scoreboard who knows but uh anyways moving on and here like i mentioned before i don't have much going on but i do have the new ally which she is a cook as you can see here she is Hello? and here is how you spawn her in with this cooking stove right here as you can see her name is yasmin which speaking of that let me go ahead and just get out of no hut all right there we go yeah yasmin's cooking stove yeah, as you can see i got just a little kitchen area got the sink next to the stove I like how the chemistry station has that sink. It blends well in a kitchen area. Yeah, just got a few plants here and there as well. And on this side, just a little cozy area to hang out at and relax. Also got a Santa Crash mount inside this winter fireplace Electro 2000. <laughs> Such a long name for a fireplace, but yeah. Uh, this also came from the atomic shop too it looks pretty nice this fireplace for pretend is what's causing the uh, chimney up top to smoke of course had to use the brick too but anyways got a little dining area right here like i said not much going on in here but it gets the point across over something cozy that's what i was going for as you can see here, once again, is the new ally. Flipping some burgers, I guess, on the stove. And upstairs here, we got just a little bedroom area. Like I said, nothing too spectacular going on here. Just a little holiday build to, once again, spread a little bit of spirit. And who knows, maybe you'll be able to get some inspiration from this as well. I'm not saying I'm the first person to ever build in Toxic Valley because it kind of resembles snow. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I've seen plenty of Christmas builds out there that did it. And also, not to mention, even in the preview of the snow machine in the Atomic Shop as well. So yeah, I'm not saying I'm the first person to ever build in the Toxic Valley because the environment kind of resembles snow. But it's nice to promote it a little bit more to show how you can build a winter-style camp in a sense. There's ash or something flying around in the Toxic Valley. And also it resembles snow too as you can see I'm pretty sure that's not actually snow I think that's ash but still it resembles it anyways inside here I got the generator a little backyard area side yard area got the snow machine set up I also made it seem like the snowman here was using the snow machine Oh, and by the way, these are also part of the uh, old Christmas Atomic Shop bundle. And what's also neat around this area, if you get the foundations right, it seems like there's snow pile on top of the foundations. If you actually get them set up to get nudged in the ground somehow, it actually looks like snow's just caked on top of it. Anyways, moving on. Last part is where I got my Santa Electron at. We got a little makeshift Christmas tree in here, used out of a bunch of potted plants. Plasma Bats actually made this. It's pretty neat, you don't have to use any Atomic Shop items or anything. This is just the regular old potted plants you can use. Just stack them on top of one another, and you kinda got yourself a Christmas tree. As you can see, I added a bunch of little presents underneath it. And you can also see the snow globe lamp in action, right here, if you haven't seen that yet. And I put the new elves around the presents here, where the Sanitron is. I thought it blended well here because, you know, an elf makes the gifts and whatnot. And also, you can get the gifts from over here, too, from the Sanitron. In case you don't know, also, a great way to collect a bunch of gifts fast is just to set them up at a bunch of different workshops around the map. Highly recommend to do that. You'll see how much faster you'll get holiday gifts. Because this is where you can get presents from. You can get a lot of presents from the Sanitron. Actually, if you didn't know, if you place your Sanitrons at different workshops, you'll speed up the process so fast to collect holiday gifts. Highly recommend doing it that way if you haven't heard about it. But yeah, that's the reason why I got all the gifts set up around the Sanitron here. Because, you know, why not? They go with making the gifts and whatnot. Also, a little piano set up here and just a few other little decorations. But yeah, anyways, lastly up here, I wanted to check real quick if we can use the snow machines inside a shelter. So let me go ahead and just place one down real quick. Let's figure that out before you actually make a purchase for the snow machines. Which by the way I did do a review over them as well. 
this was a big question a lot of players had in my previous uh, video reviewing the snow machines. Sorry snowman, I am taking your snow machines. Don't worry, I'll return them right after this. Okay, and the verdict is... We can. We can place the snow machines in our shelters. Let me go ahead and fire these up just to make sure. Yup, bingo bongo, we got snow. Cool. So for those of you wondering if you could generate snow in your shelters, here's your answer. You can. It's nice. It's like a little winter wonderland. Man, it's kind of like a tongue twister too. It's like a winter winter winter. It's like a winter one. It's it's like a winter it's like a little winter lunar. It's like a little winter lunar land. It's ah screw it. You get the point. Getting a little off topic here. I guess that's where I wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this build and it gave you a little bit of inspiration in some kind of way. As always, thanks for taking the time watching and listening. And hey, you try to have yourself a good holiday out there if you do celebrate it. Till next time though, everyone. Remember to try to stay safe out there during these unusual times. Peace.